Okay, Shalom Aleichem everybody. It is the week before Pesach, and we are very busy. Everybody is listening to me or watching while they're doing their cleaning, and sh well, not shopping, but cleaning, because this is the week before Pesach, and we are very busy. This Shabbos is going to be Shabbos HaGodol, the big Shabbos. And we're already in the month of Nisan. You know what Nisan is? Chag Ha'aviv, that contains the holiday of uh, Aviv, spring. Why does Aviv mean spring? Why? Because it's the first holiday of the year. Aviv, Av, the Yud Beis. It's the first month of the Yud Beis Kadoshim. Aviv, Av Yud Beis, the father of the 12 months. That means it's the first month, Nisan. And when you go to Shul Rosh Hashanah, it's not the first day of the year. It's the first day of the seventh month. So how could you call it Rosh Hashanah? Answer is we have two years at the same time. Uh, we have the beginning of the years and the beginning of the months. The months start now, a, few, uh, a week ago. Um, that is the month of Nisan. That represents Jewish holidays and holidays and different things. But the year when we're judged with all the Goyim and all the Eden and all the uh, even angels and the season and the water, that's the first day of the seventh month, which is the first day of the year, which is the first day of the seventh month. Like we have April 15th, the beginning of the tax year, but the beginning of the calendar year is January 1st. And July uh, 1st is the beginning of the fiscal year. Right? And um, so let's now talk about Pesach. Pesach, the mouth has to speak. Mitzvah the rice on that night, five mitzvah. One is to speak. Pe, the mouth, sach, has to talk. The man, we got to tell the tell your son. That's an average person. The man, to saper, bosne, bincha, in order to tell over in detail into the ears of your bincha, that's the chacham. There are 62 mitzvahs involved, only with the carbon pesach. Forget about matzah and mora. Um, so, the Yigadat HaLevincha, tell over the Rashi Prokim to an average person. That's one mitzvah, Haggadah. Then the Mount is Saper, Sipo Yitzhi at Mitzrayim, it's for the smarter, more advanced. So we have five mitzvahs the first night. Two of them are the Araisa, three are Rabbonim. Two of the Araisa is Yigadat HaLevincha, or if he's smart, the Mount is Saper, that's one mitzvah. The second one is uh, the Erev Tochlu Matzos. You have to eat matzah that night. If you were sick and you couldn't do it, finish, it's over. So you couldn't do it. Rachmana Patre. Rachmana Patres you. If you can't hear, then you can't hear the chauffeur. Let's say you get cured a week later or later, two days later, but, but you have to hear the chauffeur on Rosh Hashanah. Even if you have uh, uh, first day Rosh Hashanah is Shabbos. The next day is Rabbana. Uh, the mitzvah, the Raisa, has to be on the right day. So the first night of Pesach is the mitzvah to eat matzah. The second night is Rabbana. So the first night you have five mitzvahs, two the Raisas. One is the Erev Tochlu Matzos, the night of the 14th, going to the 15th. That's the only day of the year you yosa the Raisa. And the first mitzvah was the Matzah Sabra Bosne Bincha or Vigad the Tola Bincha. That's two mitzvahs. Now you have three Rabbana, the Arba Kosos. Because it doesn't say anywhere, anywhere in the Torah you have to drink Abagosa. It's Rabbonim. And Maror is Rabbonim. When Mashiach comes, you have a carbon pesa, then it comes the Doraisa. Matzus, Maror, Yochlu, Hu. Eat it with the carbon pesa. All three things together. And then you have um, the third Rabbonim, which is Halel. We say Halel at the Seder. We don't say the Brach at the beginning of Halel or at the end, if so. You still said Hallel. Because you've shook a lulav without a bracha, or put it on film without a bracha, or a woman goes to the mikvah without a bracha, you still did the mitzvah 100%. There is a mitzvah, the Rabbana, to make brachas for things. But you did the derice, you shook the lulav, put up the mezuzah without a bracha, put it on film, went in the mikvah, eat the matzah bar without a bracha. You did the derice 100%, but you didn't do the Rabbana. And of course, uh, Torah without Rabbana is nothing. Well, you yosa, but it's uh, the whole bishmak is taken away. 
there's no thing in the, in the Torah to, to watch a, to watch a, a muksa. That's a Rabbanon. But without the Rabbanon, we, it would be no Shabbos, because eventually muksa, you wouldn't have the Isra of muksa, you'd be Michal Shabbos. Wouldn't have the different mitzvahs, the brachas, you would finally forget about those mitzvahs. Without the Rabbanon, you would have no derisa. Torah is the way Moshe Rabbeinu gave it to us. That's why 611 is Torah. The Moshe gave it to us. Hashem gave us two, the first two. That was Mena Shemayim. But Moshe gave us the rest through Moshe. Without the Rabbanon, we don't have a Torah, zero. It's called Bible. That's what they have, the Umas Olam. We have only Torah through the Masorah, through Rabbanon. You cannot keep the Rises alone. It's impossible. From, the, from, my, from Sinai, Hashem told Moshe, I say this, but you add this and this and this and this, otherwise they won't keep the, orig- the original. All right, so now we have the um, Pesach coming up. Chag Ha'oviv, the holiday of the spring, the first uh, holiday of the f- Jewish year, starting in Nisan. Now don't think for a second that Nisan has something to do with Nisim. Forget about it. All the twelve names are Goyish names. Nisanu is a Persian name. Er, it's a symbol of sounds that they have nothing to do with Hebrew. How do you know? Because Tammuz is the name of an Avodah Zorah. Mm-hmm. We went through that when we got to Shiva Sabbat Tammuz. So the name is Nisan, has nothing to do with Nisim. It just sounds that way. Look it up. All the twelve names are Babylonian names. Mm-hmm. Nisanu, they all sound like uh, Hebrew. Tammuz is a Goyishanei, Anyhow, so um, let's go to the first thing of Seder. You got to tell the Vincha, you have to tell your children. In America, the last 50 years, this mitzvah changed, unfortunately. Now it's the got to the the children come with these sheets and these books and these pamphlets and they tell the father, it takes hours. A boy said, you want to do it right, the way the others told us, or you want to make the kids and the company happy? It's not begotten to love you, it's begotten to love you. You, the father, has to tell your son, even if he's a Rosh Hashim, and you're not, because he came from you. He, you're start, you're, because of him, he exists. You came before him. So did your father come before you and your father come before you? All the way back. That's called Mesorah. We're talking about a father who's a Shomer Torah Mitzvah. So he has to give the Seder. It makes no difference who's a bigger scholar. No, it comes from father to son. That's what you teach the people on Seder night. It's the old Mesorah. You don't change one single minhag. Whatever your minhag is, you keep that. Don't tamper with it. It's ancient. So he got to tell the mincha, you, the father, have to tell the story to the children, all their nice meritalach, doing the shulchan oreich, next day by lunch. Don't turn it around that they control the whole seder. No, the mitzvah is he got to tell the mincha. You, the father, have to tell over the Messiah that you heard from your father. A very chutna mine. He says, I used to make a cynical joke. <laughs> it's cute. He said, Seder night would be great, but wouldn't have them kids. <laughs> it wouldn't be for the kids. <laughs> the answer is, sure, it's dedicated to them. It's all about teaching children, or it's a euphemism for less educated people. That's the whole point. We went out of Mitzrayim through a miracle, otherwise we'd be slaves until this day, and we were nothing, and God showed that Mitzrayim, the superpower, is zero, and Yisrael, that order of slaves, that's the Iker in God's interest. He took them out, and he spent 40 years in the Midbar with no water, and no grew, nothing grew, and they lived 40, uh, 600,000 males, and together with females, and wives and daughters, and and the people had multiple wives and children above 16, below t- night 20. Three and a half million minimum, with two and a half million. Erev Rav says, Tagam Yonis and six million people, 40 years. And when they came to Israel, it was the exact same count. 
even though they killed thousands, eight, three thousand Arab Rav, Vadi, Egel, and Shim, uh, what's that, the, the, the Shimon, the tribe of Shimon, went from 57,000 down to, I don't know, 27,000, there was this, they killed, there was a war there going on, and then, then they came out almost the same number after every defender 40 years. And there was 1,820 difference from 603,550 to 601,000 something. 1,820, 1,820 is a very important number. That's the difference between 603,550 and uh, 601 something. And um, 1,820, God's name is mentioned in all of Tanakh 1,820 times. If you spell out the word Bereshis, Beis, Reish, Aleph, Shin, Yud, Tov, it's 1,820. 70 times God's name, Yud, Kei, Vav, Kei, 26 is 1,820. It's a mystical number. Which means after 40 years, or about the same, but the, all, the, all the dying and, and the birth weight came out about the same. Second thing, Manishtano. So my father, as I used to say, Manishtano, why is this night like different from all other nights? Shemachal Haledos, all other nights, we can eat any vegetables we want. And all the other nights, we can eat leavened or unleavened bread. And all the nights, we can uh, dip, don't even dip one time, now we got to dip two times. All other nights, we can lean, uh, eat straight or leaning, this way or that way. Tonight, you must lean to the left. You have to eat this kind of vegetable, and you have to dip two times. All the nights, you don't have to dip at all. And then you, uh, you can, uh, why, why is that? So my father Zatzal says, Ma'anishtana is not a question. If you know Hebrew, you would say, Lomo nishtana alay lozeh. Why is this night different? Ma is a statement. Ma'anishtana, look how different. We make a big issue about nothing. Leaning like this, or leaning like that. If you don't lean, you're not Yosem. Why? You dip it once, or twice, or three times. Why? This vegetable, that vegetable. Why? Matzah. 17 minutes and 59 seconds, that's okay. 18 minutes, <laughs> why? So my father, that's how, and he said, if you know Hebrew, a question would be, Lomo Nishtana. That would be a question, it's not a question, it's a statement. Ma Nishtana, look how different it is. Like, Mo, Ma Rabu Masech Hashem. How great are your acts? Ma no Rahamokam Hazer. Ma is a statement. Look, Hashem. Look how different tonight is. Ma nishtana. Look what's the difference tonight and every other night. Lean like this. You don't lean like that. You dip it once, twice, three times. Ah! I want to tell you tonight you have to feel look ki'ilu hu yotso mi That night, this year, 5701. 5771. Tov Shinai Aleph, 5771, you have to feel like you were 2448, 3341 years ago. You have to feel like you went out of its rhyme tonight, Kilo, like you were tonight experiencing this. You have to go back in a time machine, 3,000, 3,300 years. They, because you know why tonight is the night of Yitzhak Mitzrayim? The Shekhinah is sitting at your table tonight. And if that's the case, the way you lean makes a big difference. You did once or twice this vegetable, that vegetable. Suppose you had the President of the United States or any other dignified person at your table. You would have the best time, the best thing. The table would be shining, the best stuff. Everything would be, the silverware would be shining because you have an honored guest. Being in the best china, the best silverware. Mm, because you have an honored guest. Chairs would be fixed and upholstered. The carpet would be... Cleaned and polished, uh, shampooed. To say it or not, you have an honored guest. That's a shechina. That's why not lomo. Why? But how different is tonight? A nothing becomes something. The shechina is there. You're in twenty four forty eight. That's when the year that went out of the shrine. Today is fifty seven seventy one. Thirty three hundred and forty one years, I think. You have to feel it. It says in Haggadah, you have to feel ki ilu hu yos, like you, not your father. When Adam is trying tonight, when you get on that Madurega, the Shekhinah is in your house. It, it didn't kill you. It skipped over your house. The Shekhinah is in your house. That's why it didn't kill you. The firstborn. So every little thing is a big deal now. That's my father's Kiddush. Ma, how different is tonight? 
Not why. Not be lama. Ma, how different is tonight? Ma, nishtana alaydas and mekala alaydas. This is the night of Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. We don't ask this question first night of Sukkot, because we didn't go out of Mitzrayim first night of Sukkot. If it would be lama, then you have to say in the first night of Sukkot, why are you sitting outside in a ball? Hmm. Why the first night of a, of a Shavuos? Why are you staying up all night? Oh, you tell them a story, they went to sleep, you know, and they didn't, and they overheard Moshe, I wake them up. Why don't we say it every night, the first night of every Yantin? Why this is the first night of Rosh Hashanah? Why do you have to eat honey? Why do you have to blow the show for much? If it would be a question, you would say that every single holiday, you teach the children, Chinuch. Tonight, you take vegetables and you make a big deal. Which vegetable? This vegetable, that vegetable. Deal, de, 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 lean this way or that way, or red wine, another. Boom, my fool. It has to be not bushel because it looks like it should be like Carbonos wine. It was not bushel. <sighs> why are you making a big deal and nothing? That's why, because the shin is in your house. Chatzos is 1256 for New York Jews. Be sure you eat afikoman before 12.56. Meshulchan Aruch says, be very sore here in this. Because that represents the carbon Pesach. And the carbon Pesach, it was at the end of the meal. You first ate the carbon Chagigo, you were satisfied. And then you eat the afikoman, which is the dessert, the, 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 uh, the, the afikoman, the matzah. We eat the matzah, the afikoman, the dessert at the end. You can't eat anything after that. Drinking, yeah, but not eating. Because the carbon Pesach was at the end. When they were satisfied. It was not eaten for hunger, it was eaten for mitzvah only. Be very careful. The Mishnah Brewer brings in the tremendously hakpada. Do not plan to eat it after Chatzos 1256. If you did, we'll find a hatter for you. So some people figure they're going to use the first matzah. You know, when you went to matzah moro, uh, the mozi matzah, an hour before, when you started your meal, the mozi matzah, they're going to make that before midnight. Don't play any tricks, please. Because there's, not, there's a machlokas, which is the main matzah that makes you yotza of the derisa of the heir of token matzahs. Is it the first matzah? Mozi matzah, when you eat it? Is it, a few minutes later, the koreich? When you eat the, the matzah and the maror together, because Hillel says we don't eat the, the matzah and the maror, and the carpet is together, you're not yotzah. Because it says matzah is a maror, yochlu, who eat them all together. Or is it the, uh, like the Rashbam says, the afikoman, machlokas, which one of the three is the ikar mitzvah of Erev, tochlu matzah, the matzah, mostly matzah, the first two, which you eat simultaneously, the korech, or the afikoman. So we eat them all three before chatzos, not to be caught, maybe, 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 where it's one of them. So we eat them all before chatzos. Which one represents happy common? Carbon Pesach. And you know that this seven day yontif is not called Pesach. Nowhere, nowhere do you find that written. It's called Chagamatsos. Because that's what you say in Yalaviyom. And that's what the Bosik says, Ba'arba Osiyom, on the 14th day, Matsos to Chelu. The next word, Ba'chamisha Osiyom, the 5th day, no, Ba'arba Osiyom, Pesach Lashem. On the 14th day is Pesach. Pesach is over by midnight. Ba'chamisha Osiyom, the 15th day, the next seven days, Matzas tochelu. It's called Chag Matzos. Not Pesach. We can, the, ma- the master calls it that, but that's not, that's not true. Like leather, rubber tires are not made out of rubber. Yeah, a little bit, not too much. Lead pencils are made out, made out of lead. Houses don't burn up, they burn down. <laughs> a lot of things you say doesn't make it true. The, a boxing ring. When did you see it ever, a boxing ring? Every one of them is square. We have to be careful what you say. So, um, eat, plan to eat the matzos before chazot. If you d- delay, we look for a heterim. Why do you want to live second place? Why do you want to live b'di evet? Why don't you live where there's no question? Okay. The best wine is the best wine you can f- afford. It's, it's kosher if it's grape juice. But she, like Ramosha Feinstein says, you're yosa abricosis. If you can't handle wine. But you're not yosa cheirus. A rich man, a very wealthy man, and say to him, you have to act like you're very, very wealthy because you were redeemed. 
He wouldn't bring in, give him grape juice for a dollar ninety nine a bottle, or the Spartan grape juice two ninety nine. No, you give him a sixty nine dollar bottle of wine or forty nine or twenty nine, not grape juice. So you have to have the best wine for labricosos. Then it shouldn't be mavushal. It should be non mavushal, but mavushal is kosher. But in carbonos, it was never mavushal. It should be red, even though you like white wine better. It should be red. Because when you look at an uh, uh, advertisement of a bottle of wine, they're not going to put clear white wine because it could be vodka. Or it could be... But red, you know, it's wine. So therefore, uh, it should be red. Regardless of what you like, it should be red. It should be good wine. It should be not artificially sweetened. If you have the artificially sweetened wine, you know, artificially sweetened, where it says the word cream, that's a code word, that is 40% not wine, it's sugar. First of all, you shouldn't drink that during the year at all because you don't know anything about wine if you drink that stuff. Cream is a code word for keep away if you know something. Cream is artificially sweet. Why don't you drink the way God made it? Wine. Naturally sweet is good, but cream, you may not, I don't know if you're using because it's 40% not wine. Slight, okay. Alcoholic, this we don't care. 1%, 3%, 14%, that's not important. It should, the best wine should be red. It should be um, not bavushal, but it's kosher if it's not red, and it's kosher if it's not bavushal. And it could be kosher if it's grape juice. We're talking about ideally. Hello? Now the matzah. Yes. The matzah. Hand, um, machine matzah shmura is 100% kosher. It's made of the same mitzvah. They push the button, they say the same matzah is mitzvah. So the whole machine runs, and it's made in the same matzah's mitzvah. And it runs for hours and hours and hours, and some companies turn off the... Um, no company turns off the machines every 18 minutes. You wouldn't make money that way. They clean the... They, they, before the first run, they, 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 the, the, um, the, 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 the kabura comes down there, and they clean out the machine spotlessly, and then they run the first run. They take the first 17 minutes of... Those matzos, that's called 100% first run, that's 80 minutes matzo. It means, that's a misnomer. It should be 17 minutes matzo, because 80 minutes matzo is common. It means the first 18 minutes of the machine, they cleaned it out, and after that they don't take any more matzo. Just the first 18 minutes, and it's a shame matzo is missing, they push the button. It's not a vote, it's a yacht. That's true. So the hand matzos is more chashuv, not more kosher. It's more chashuv, because a vote is yacht, you made it by hand. You know, a hand drawn picture <laughs> is worth a lot of money, millions of dollars, but reproduced on a machine is twenty dollars. Handmade is very, very important. So a vodas yad is very important for the first night, because that's a device. The next second night is only Rabona. A vodas yad, those round hand masses, is more chosha, not more kosher, more chosha. Now, the matzah handmade when they start before Hanukkah, every single matzah that goes in that oven, they say the, sh the baker, the person that bakes it, uh, says the shame matzah's mitzvah, that is tended to be eaten the first night for matzah. The second night is the Rabbana only. And what you eat during the day is not matzah's mitzvah. So you could have 100% kosher shmur matzah's, it's zero good, it's no good for Seder night, because if it's not made the shmur, it's like eating paper. It must be kosher from Hamas and made the shmur. So therefore you get machine matzahs or hand matzahs, and matzah shmur. Not only shomur watch from comments, but it's also shmur watch is made of shame matzahs mitzvah. Now there's certain matzahs called pshutos. I think it's a danger to eat them. First of all, it's not meant for Seder night. It's pshutos, simple. Not the shmur. So you don't need the shmur, only the first night. Maybe the second night. But it's pshutos. Maybe some ignorant people will eat it for the first night. It's very dangerous. You've got to know what you're doing. Number two drawback. It's not Shmur Meshas Katsiro. No. It's Shmur Meshas Tchino. Gr uh, grinding. Later, months later, when they grind, there's no water there. That's wonderful. Shulchan Aruch says, the highest, finest matzah is Shmur Meshas Katsiro from harvesting. The moment they harvest it, it doesn't let them touch the ground. Not even one second. If it's, a, if it's a moist day or a rain the day before, they wouldn't cut the wheat. It has to be dry for three, four, or five days. Then they cut it. And they put it into a place where it's hermetically sealed. 
So the high, that's already a chumra. You don't mechuyiv to have that. You mechuyiv to have mishmur and mishas techino. But then you can even get a lower one, mishmur and mishas lisho. While you're kneading it, it shouldn't go over 18 minutes. It shouldn't be left alone for one second. While you're kneading it, you can knead it all day long. It never turns into chumra. Because as you're mashing it, they, there's no fermentation going on. That's the kula. The middle one, techino, adds the halacha. The one with Shaz Katsir, that's a Khumra. So we're all Machmir because it doesn't cost, well, it costs a little more, but we can do it. Why not go for the full blast? Wouldn't you buy a Mercedes if they gave you at the same price as a Kia? Ah, it's not the same price. I know, so, okay, once a year, $24 a, $22 a pound for eight matzahs. That's like $3 a month. <laughs> Every bite is like 75 cents. All right. <clears throat> Anyhow, but it, once a year, wouldn't you go for the best, like you buy the best little s drug? I know, $150 for a lemon, $80 for a lemon, but it's a miss of the rice. And uh, it all depends on your commitment to Torah and mitzvahs. What is important in your life? If you buy a very, very fancy home and a very fancy car and very fancy clothes and you buy cheap s drug and, and matzah, so you see where your values are. So, um, Mazat Pshuta is a problem. It's all right that it's not Lishma because it's not made for Seder night, but not, not everybody knows that. And number two, it's not really the best Shmura, and you can get today Shmura, Bashas, Bashas Katsira, even hand matzahs, even machine matzahs. So, uh, the machine, machine matzahs that are made in Shmura, Bashas, Tchina, there's not Lishem Matzah's Mitzvah. It's a danger. To the side, you could eat it Seder night, people don't know. And it's not Yosef, it's like eating a piece of paper, even though it's 100% no chumas in it. Because uh, it's not made with Shem Matzah Mitzvah. And number two, why wouldn't you eat on Seder night uh, Sheen Matzahs that are Bishas Ketzero? You have a chance. Millions of people do. This shoot is a dangerous. All right. Not that it's not kosher. 100% kosher. Um, now let's go to some of the dinim of, I mean, hugim of Pesach. Five types of maror. Does everybody know them? Well, the Yishalmi gives you the five types of maror. <laughs> lettuce, called chazeres, could either be iceberg or romaine lettuce. Just check it for schwarzen. Chicory, called ulshin. It's a bitter herb. Horseradish, called tamcha. You know what that is. Endives, called charchavono. Or wormwood called maror. So what we do, we usually use romaine lettuce. And that, by the way, your shamli brings all these five down, five uh, uh, types of uh, uh, ro- uh, bitter herbs. In um, it's not bitter herbs. Herbs is really like uh, uh, oregano and basil. But bitter vegetables, um, the the, the shamli. Um, Brings them all five down, and it says the best one, if you can get it, the best, the best, is chazeres, lettuce. Now comes the $64,000 question. It's not bitter. Mm. Tamcha is much more bitter. Ulshin is more bitter. Chachavon is more bitter. Maror is more bitter. We call it all maror, but mar is a type of uh, wormwood. Now listen, why would you use chazeres? Every tuna fish sandwich has chazeres. I mean, less than tomato sandwich, why is it bitter? Maror represents assimilation. Matzah represents time. Pesach represents miracles. God skipped over us, saved us. He does that last 3,000 years. Matzah means time. If you don't do the right mitzvah at the right time, it's nothing. You can't keep Shabbos on Friday or Sunday. You can't shut like the Hanukkah lights a night too early or the next night. The first night you didn't do it, you missed the first night. You can't blow the chauffeur on some other night unless the Chacham has said, not Shabbos, the next day. But you can't do anything that on your own. So Matzah represents time. Pesach means we save miraculously. Hashem skips over us. Never lets the Baal Chabavos destroy us. Never, never, never. Utsu eats of a sufer. Dabur, dabur, liyakum. They give all the eights as they want. They're going to wake us off the map. Dabur, they speak what they want. Yakum ki imanu kale. Utsu eats of a sufer. God is with us. We are here forever, not them. 
Babylonians are not here, the Romans are not here, the third year, third thousand year Reich is not here, the Greeks are not here, the, 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 the English Empire is not a world empire, the Spanish is not a world empire, they all tortured us. The Catholic Church is gone as a world power. We are here forever like stars untouchable, like sand indestructible. So therefore, um, Pesach, skipping, matzah time. A mitzvah is only at the right time. Mara assimilation it starts out very geschmack. You blend with everybody. Be nice. Be acceptable. Turns out very, very bitter at the end. Tasteless. Life has no... You choose the lettuce all by itself for a while. Garnish. No geschmack. It's done. Your kids are going. Grandkids are going. Great-grandkids are going. No one's going to say cottage for you. You've done, you're finished. You have no future. No one wants to live 70 or 80 years. They want to live forever. Who's your ever? Who's your continuation of this? There's no future. You don't, don't leave something that's perfect. And it's a winning team. You never leave a winning team. We are belong to a nation that's amnitzchi, eternal nation. We are forever, not them. Don't you want to be part of that group? Don't you want to be a VIP from that group? The Am Hanifcha? You don't see that. You don't see anything. So, the five types of Mara. Mara, I mean, Mara means bitter at the end. And the best one is the Chazers, which is not bitter at all, because that reminds you assimilation starts out very gishmak, but ends up very bad. The Chashmanoyim, who were Tzadikim Kedoshim, but the next hundred years after their experience, they became the worst murderers and killers. And Hashem wiped them off the face of the map. There is not one remem uh, red, red, zanen, red mem um, member of the Hashemanoim family in the world today. They are wiped out because they wanted to blend in. They became Rishoyim Gemurim. Those big original reform rabbis, you know who the children are today? Not reform Jews, but they're Goyim. The original rabbi, go through the names. Lindenberg, Linden. Or whatever, Lyndon Baum and, and, and Mendelssohn, either they went insane or they committed suicide or they converted. Go ahead, look up the history. There's no future for that. It's the original thing. That's where the future is. Next question. If you can print this down, by the way, on the, you can print it off on the computer or tell it anytime what you're listening to, just print it down. Number 13. Five kazes of a matzo. When do you eat the five kazes? Five. Motzi matzi, you have to eat two at the same time. Motzi does matzi, and achilas matzi. Both. One is for eating because it's junk. If you need two matzi, like Shabbos, two And one, you have to eat the other one, the top one and the bottom one, immediately at the same time. The second one, for one you eat because it's junk. you have to eat bread, this is the kind of bread you eat. Number two, you have to eat matzi this night. Once you eat because you have to have a shle, shlecha mishnah. And number two, the second one, you have to eat the same time as the first. Um, because of matzi. So you eat them both at the same time. You don't break off a piece. You eat the whole thing. Well, half of it. That's two at Mosi Matzah. One at Korech. Take out Kazais. Break off half on the bottom and top. Eat the sandwich. That's three. Two and one is three. And after you come, you have to eat two. One for the members of the Carbon Pesach. And one the Matzah you ate with the Carbon Pesach. Well, there's five. Which means you yotza with one. I know if you're old or sick or something. But you want to eat a Chathil. You want to do it right. Five Kazais. Fourteen. Seven leanings. Seven times you have to lean. Maybe eight, maybe nine. How's that work? The four kosos you have to lean. That's four. Three times you eat matzah. The first one, the korech, not becoming. That's seven. Four, three, seven. Karpas, in the beginning. That's a rich man's aperitif before the meal. Rich people don't go right to the meal. They're not hungry. They have an aperitif. They dip something into something. You have to lean. That's number four and three. So this is eight. And one time at the Sudo, because you're a free man tonight. Lean back. Nine. The Haggadah starts at three different places. Where? Avodah Mayinu. We were slaves in Mitzrayim. So there's a Machlogus in the Gemara. Why don't you start at the beginning? Why don't you start at the beginning? Oh, Arami Oviravi. The Aramean wanted to destroy my father Yaakov. It wouldn't have been that God saved them. There would be no Yaakov, no 12 sons. It wouldn't be even trying. We'll be done. So they said, why don't you go further back? Why don't you start at the beginning? Ah, wrong. 
the Tehillah of the Avodah Zor Hayyav Seinu. In the beginning, our forefathers, means Abraham, was of the Avodah Zor, idol worshippers. So he means to say like this, we start at deny, we start out as losers. How? Let's start out the worst place. Is Avodah Meyinu, we were slaves, that's the worst place? No, let's go even further, worse than that. Arami Ovidami, he wanted to destroy his own children and grandchildren, love him. That's pretty disgusting to have a rotten zany like that. Why don't you get worse? Right. Avram Avinu, before he became a yid, was over there by the Zor at the age of 12. Well, how? Let's go from the worst until the best. We, Yisrael, Sar, were superior than any other nation on earth. Because you see, we survived, they did not. Sar, you're a master. Go start from the lowest to the highest. When he appreciates something, he has to tell the whole story, where he came from, what you are today. A rich man tells the kids and grandkids the story. He says, you see, I'm today a multi-millionaire. You want to know how it happened? I'll tell you what I was when I was 12. Then the children think, wow, we went from that to this? Rags to riches. Then you appreciate how hard the man worked. You have to tell the whole story. 16. The main mitzvah of matzah. At the beginning, we said this already, Motzi Matzah, or the Koreh, or the Apikoman. Seventeen, five mitzvahs the first night, we talked about that also. Eighteen, essence of pa Pesach, we told you that. Historical, Pesach, God skips over us, always never lets the mashka destroy us. We live, our existence is an ace. Our existence today is a miracle. Our existence, a lamb and a lion's den, is a miracle Forget about any proofs from the Torah. The fact that you are listening today to me, Goyesh year 2011, 57, 71, and millions of Jews in the world are, list, are doing Seder. Millions. Few million are Bali Tshuva, Tzadikim, Kedoshim, after 3,300 years, when all our adversaries are in only in the history books. We're on the front page of the newspapers every day. Isn't this a miracle? Isn't this the biggest miracle you could imagine? I mean, historically, a miracle. At Pesach, matzah is time. 17 and a half, uh, 15, 70 minutes, 59 seconds, mitzvah. 18, kores, abeira. Everything is time. You can't do any mitzvah at the wrong time. And time, and we're waiting for that glorious future time called Mashiach. I mean, we're, we know the original time when we started, Abraham Avinu, he was born in 1948, 4,000 years ago, almost. And then Moror, assimilation is very bad. A lot of Jews, unfortunately, find the easier way to assimilate, be like all the Goyim, cut out all those antique, old, ancient, and silly things that God commanded us. They don't believe in God. They're atheists, really. Assimil highly assimilated Jews are atheists. They don't really believe that God wants something from them, that we have a book, you have to follow the book. A good Catholic follows the book. The, a, book a good Muslim follows the book. I don't think good Jews follow the book. God, God wrote that book. God wrote it. Most told Moshe just they quoted it to Moshe. Moshe didn't lie one word. Nineteen. To count. Oh. Sphira Saomer. Second night of pace that we start Sphira Saomer. Why do we do it? What is it count? What is it for? When does the thirty-three days of the forty-nine days start? When you have to be sad the thirty-three of the forty-nine days. Nineteen. To count from our physical redemption of Mitzrayim, the 15th of Nisan, to reach Shavuot seven weeks later, our spiritual redemption, when we got to Torah, we are elevated above what all other mankind is driven to. We are detached from those things. 613 mitzvahs, some are positive, some are negative. That makes you a higher class person. What's good for them is no good for you. What's permissible for them is not permissible for you. Sometimes we and them share, it could be, but we have certain rules and regulations. A, a caterpillar feels very happy in the mud there, but he wants to, he doesn't like the mud, he wants to get out. So God said, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll create wings for you, and you can fly out of the dirt. You become a caterpillar from a, from a uh, what do you call it, from a uh, uh, um, caterpillar to a butterfly. From a caterpillar to a butterfly. So the next day he feels great pain on his back when the wings started to grow. He says, God, why are you torching me like this? Why are you giving me this burden? He says, you want to become something great? To fly? To be beautiful? Everybody looks at you, a butterfly, from an animal that crawls around in the dirt there? 
That's a burden. You have the responsibility. That's a price you got to pay for that. You don't get this elevation cheaply. Ooh, if I'm be a caterpillar to a butterfly, you have to grow wings. That's a heavy burden. You want to be great? Cost a price. To count from our physical redemption to reach the worst, which is our spiritual salvation, Kabbalah Satorim. That's why we count 49 days. 33 days, the second day of faith that we start, we're counting, and it goes right to Shavuos, but for 33 days of the 49 days, there's a sad period. The Talmud and Rabbi Akiva died, 24,000 of them, for 33 days. Now some start not at Pesach, they count, but they don't start. Now is 33 of the 49, they don't start. They start at Rosh Chodesh Iyar, either before Rosh Chodesh Iyar starts, or the first day, or the second day. Old Minik Ashkenaz was to start after Rosh Chodesh Iyar, and if you, until Shavuos. And if you add it up, there's no Shlosh Yisrael Mehan Gebola. There's no three days, because the last three days have to be 37, 38, 39. So there's no Shlosh Yisrael Mehan Gebola. Shlosh Yisrael Mehan Gebola, because they waited three days and kept away from their wives. That's our Pika Bola, it's not Halacha. And some Jews did not accept that a Kabbalistic way of doing it, only the Halachic way. So there was no Shlosh Yisrael Mehan They start after Rosh Chodesh Iyar. Some start the day before Rosh Chodesh Iyar, which means they, 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 they want to relive the Shlosh Yisrael Mehan Gebola which the Jews abstain from their wives three days before Shavuos. So there's two ways to start counting. Either at Pesach and go to Lag Omer, and that's it. Or the day before or honor uh, of Rosh Hashanah's E.R. and you go right to Pesach and Shavuos. And you don't do Rosh Hashanah's which is Api Kabbalah. Not Halacha. And there's two ways of doing it. So each one gets 33 days. And either one, by the way, if you take out Lag Omer, there's no 33 days. It's always 32. You have to put in Lag Omer as one of the Avedos days and one of the happy days. How can it be two things at one time? So if you work it out, you'll see the Shulchan Aram says, you cannot celebrate Lag Omer as a till after sunrise or Lag Omer morning. One minute after sunrise, one minute of Avedos is all you need. That's already the 30, the Lag Omer is the, is the one of the 33 days. Because you have one minute of Avedos. Like when you're sitting Shiva, you only sit six, seven days, one minute of seven days enough, it's over. A mix as a young kakula. Mix as a young kakula. Part of it is like the whole thing. So therefore, Lag Omer in the morning, after the morning you can get married. I uh, get married the night before. That's only if it's Thursday night, because it's Friday morning, you have to get ready for Shabbos. But suppose it's Tuesday night, Monday night. How could you make a wedding? The very big machlok is in halacha. Those who are very makbid, on the like the Mishnah Ruhr says, you do not do weddings at, at night unless it's Thursday night, because Friday's you gotta get ready for Shabbos, you can't get married. You don't, you only do it in the, in the morning, after sunrise, for one minute, then that's one, one day of availus, and the rest of the day is happiness. So, um, there's a big machlokas about this. Ooh, boy. This is a minefield, you have to step in there. You know, there's three minefields on Pesach. Dangerous subjects, where there's big machlokas, and people get bent out of shape, and hide under the collar. Three things about Pesach. You better watch out. It's like stepping into a minefield. One is gebrochs. Do you eat it? Don't you eat it? Will you use a keli that you cook gebrochs? Would you and you cook now other stuff is not gebrochs? Would you eat food out of that keli? Oh boy, that is hot stuff. People are very and they should keep their minhok, their minhok, whatever they have. Eat gebrochs. Don't eat gebrochs. By the coin to shulchanach, it's hundred percent mutter. Look at them shulchanach. It's a chumrah to keep gebrochs, and if that's your minhok, you have to keep it. Like in certain communities, they don't eat any fish unless it's killed right in front of the woman. Never take a fish. Because years ago in Poland, it was a landlocked country. They had to preserve the fish by in brine, which is vinegar, and that made the hummus. So here they want to, now we have refrigerated trucks. <laughs> uh, but they want to keep the old menig of uh, lemon take a fish. All right, so uh, Gebrox is one. The second one is selling all real hummus or just tarubus hummus. That's a hot subject. Woo! But here is Chomets Gomor or only Tarubus Chomets? The big difference. After Pesach, real Chomets Gomor that you didn't look at and search out and sell, you can't eat it, you can't throw it away. Uh, Tarubus Chomets, mix, mixture after Pesach, even though you didn't have Aram, and you have Chomets Shavala and Pesach, you can have it after Pesach, it's only Tarubus. What's the third subject? A hot subject is Gabrox, is one. Two is um, Chomets Gomor, and here is Chomets. What's the third one? Oh, yeah, Afikoma. Can you eat it after Chatzot? You find a heter for it. People do it. But it's not what the Mishnah says. 
Now the Chaz, the Chaz, the Moran, the Chaber says, be very zor here to eat it before. He's mocked on that. And so is the Moran, the Mishim Ruin. And the other hot subjects, some years ago in America, 70 years ago, some Hasidic groups would never eat hand matzahs, only machine matzahs. Some groups will never eat machine matzahs, only hand matzahs. And you should know, any chashash of chameis, if it's before Pesach, is bottle b'shishim, before Pesach. One Pesach is not even bottle a million to one. But if it's made before, it's bottle b'shishim. Um, there's a lot of hot subjects, yeah, about Afikoma, and how long the Seder takes, Gebrochs, when you count the Sphira, when you count the Zominic Ashkenazis, to start every Scottish year. The more practical one is what Yeshiva Bacham do, because they don't have to go to work. They start at Pesach, but before, because by the time uh, the Pesach is over, you have eight days later, already it's in shape. So it's already one week on. Okay, different minhagim, you have to follow your minhag. Um, do you eat uh, roasted meat, the Snyder Seder or not? Sfardim have a sheep's head on their table. We have a, a chicken leg. There's a, there's a lot of touchy subjects. Okay, Rabbi I we're finished. But there are many more you get this uh, uh, down, uh, downloaded from Torah anytime. There's many more things there. Um, I'm not even going to tell you about them. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right, boy sign. Have a good week, and uh, next week we're not going to be on the air because Pesach is on Monday night. Maybe Moshe Shabbos will do it, maybe Sunday, could be. All right, a freilich a kosher of Pesach, and a freilich of Pesach. Women should have a pleasant Pesach because they kill themselves. They're the most precious members of the Jewish family. Bishvil Noshim Sid Konios Nigalu Avaseinim Mitzrayim. Not the men, the women. And they, because of uh, they, because of them, we still exist. Okay, our voice sounds like a zunstark.